Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Kintaro, or more specifically the Golden Boy, which is the hero variant. And what I really, really, really like about the Golden Boy is the amazing quirk for medium pulse lasers. Look at that. We've got the Inner Sphere medium pulse laser range of plus 20% on top of an energy range of plus 10%, on top of our skills plus 10%. That is a sniper weapon here. <laughs> I mean, not, not really, okay. But we are shooting our uh, medium pulse lasers at an optimal range of 310 meters and that's really cool. So that's, uh, that's fantastic actually. So that's, that's more than standard medium laser range. And uh, yeah, so that, that is why we take the medium pulse lasers, of course. It, ma it just makes sense getting, getting those uh, relatively low burn time mid-range weapons on top of an MRM-40 because why not? I wanted to have the Sand Blaster because um, it is um, very, very high hard point here. So I just put an MRM-40 in here. This is a great peaking weapon. This is great for early or mid game. And when the time time is right and you, uh, you just got a lot of armor removed from your enemies, you go in and you finish them off with the medium pulse lasers. So that's, a, again, a very straightforward build. Nothing crazy. But what I really like about this, uh, this build here as well is that it has some options. So um, it has actually the option of being in the fight and brawl because the Kinta Rose got buffed like two or three patches ago and now they got a lot of armor as well so as you can see this mech is pretty sturdy and if even if you are ending up in a, in a fighting situation in a tough brawl you can just use your MRM as a, as a close range uh, spread weapon and the medium pulse lasers on top and you can fight your way out of that that's what I really really like about the Kintaro. We are running a light engine 280 with three double heat sinks, makes the mech reasonably fast. 82 kph is okay since we are running, again, mid-range here. The medium pulse lasers are not close, they are mid-range as well and that's cool. Our skill build looks like this. I invested a lot into firepower as you can see, so the left side for the, the green missile nodes and then the laser duration and I went for the additional two range nodes here because I wanted to get as much range as possible here for our medium pulse lasers. More importantly, survivability as as I said before, you at some time you, you want to go in and want to commit to the kills and therefore having that, that increased armor, the, the, just the buff um, from the skills that amplifies the quirks is just so significant. Therefore, go for the left side for the armor hardening nodes and take the right side for just some additional survivability, just some raw HP on structure. Uh, I'm skipping mobility here. I had the torso speed nodes unlocked here, um, but I think it's not really necessary because the Kintaro is mobile enough. You, you don't really need that. No jump jets on this one and we are running half cool run because the build is relatively cold to be honest. So you don't necessarily need full cool run and uh, actually I'm, I'm building back at the moment so I'm a little bit low on XP. Otherwise I would have taken it all out and put it into uh, more firepower probably. Get more cooldown, get more range and uh, maxing out the survivability here. But anyway, that's uh, how it looks right now. So this is, this is nice to have. You don't need full cool run. Half the cool run is, is just good to have. What's really nice is rated deprivation here because this is more or less a peaking build. We have that very high hard point on the shoulder with the MRM. So you just pop out of cover, you shoot your stuff, you go back and then you break locks and um, yeah, basically locks with the rated deprivation. And we're running a consumable slot which is filled with a UAV and a cool shot. And that's it everybody. That is the build for today. And um, yeah, I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Rebel Elite Oasis. And uh, yeah, we, uh, people are talking about crashes. We had a disconnect here. And uh, yeah, crashes are not fun. That, that 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 is it. Damn, the crashes are crashes are not fun. Uh, this is an occasion, occasional disconnect every now and then. Um, I don't know why it's uh, that, but you know, maybe maybe it's the people's rig, maybe it's the game code. Who knows? But you know, let's not let's not talk about that. Let's talk about uh, shooting people at Theta. That's my my objective here. That's my goal that I want to achieve. Um, I do not want to actively cap that honestly because it's super risky as a medium mech. We cannot quickly get away. And I think somebody has to do it, right? Ah! Oh, help. Okay. So, we're sitting here. I just want to flip the flip the color here and then we're out! Back to cover. Back to cover. Let's get out of here. At the same time, the enemy is nowhere, so it seems. We got Kappa. <gasps> there they are. Oh yeah, there's an assault mech at Kappa. Why is there an assault mech there? Wait, what? Oh, because they are here. Look at that. Ha! Found them. We found them. Look at that. 
Yeah, my, my UAV providing great vision there. That, okay, that's interesting. So they have a murder ball up there. I want to go for the guy at Kappa. Um, anybody with me? Okay, okay, okay. So where is he? That is more than one. Couldn't you tell me that, please? Okay, let's do it again, though. Just very carefully. My Marauder to see my Mad Cat Mark II is coming in. Go for the Cyclops Alpha first. Alpha. It's the more damage target. Okay, I guess we are Oh my god. Hi! Uh Timberwolf. Is my Mad Cat still alive? I'll try to shield him from the left side here by shooting the people, pushing them back a little. Oh my god. Uh that's a problem. That's a bad situation. But we have reinforcements! Okay. So what about those guys down below? Did they, did they die yet? That would be interesting. It would be great to know. Oh, I, I think I'm gonna have to take it extremely slow here. Since we have that firing line situation. Okay. The good thing is, even on Rubelite Oasis, it is pretty cold. The build that I'm talking about here. So that's that's a lot of fun. Got a kill even. Okay. Nice. Uh, it's 3-0, uh, no, looking great. Be careful with your laser AMS here, guys. Okay, and this is it. We just go back and forth, they shoot our weapons, and down. our um, long range of the of the medium pulse lasers comes in very handy here. I'm blocked. Ah, okay, Cataphract is pushing. This is actually a proper push, so let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get into a good fighting situation. Okay. Go around here, shoot the Warhammer in the back. More. Can we? Override. Ah, override. There we go. It's 5 and 0. Oh. Yeah, looking very solid here. Very solid. My team is wrecking left and right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted that kill. I, I have to admit, I was in a blood rage here. I wanted that kill so bad. <laughs> Taking the internal damage was definitely not worth it. But no, sometimes, sometimes you have to, you have to go for it. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's let's go ahead and uh, get some damage to the catapult down there. Oh, he dodged it. Nice one. Yeah, the pulse lasers are of course the the main the main heat source here. Uh, this guy is running lerms, so we're gonna push him. Of course, I need to be a bit careful with my side torso there. But if we just do do that and dodge to cover every now and then while we are while we are pushing here, feels like a American again. Feels like American gladiators, kind of. Okay, the thing is, the missile boat is not an issue anymore. That guy here. Oh wait, he's also a missile boat. Oh god. Never mind. Yeah, we are we are overheating here a lot. But at the same time, we are winning a lot. <laughs> cool. So that worked out. Great job, team. I'm gonna I'm gonna start capping here, I guess, because we definitely need one more. We need one more capture point. There's a fight in the middle of the map, but that I I will be too late to actually contribute to that. Therefore, I'm not even trying. Although, if the piranha is running, maybe I could go for an interception path. But you know what? We just play for the objective here. We we did enough in the fight. Let's uh, capture Epsilon real quick. And then we wait for my teammates to kill the piranha. And then there's one enemy alive. So if we, if we just get the lag on that guy, he's down. And then we need to find the last one. I wonder what it is and where he is. Is there a disconnect? No, he's still online. He still has a ping. A very high ping, to be honest. Wow, that is a lot. Over 300. A lot of people with over 300 ping. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, there he is. It's an assassin with uh, SRMs and some lasers. And we just, again, gonna quickly get Epsilon and then that's it. Cool. There we go. Just in time. Sorry. Should be enough, honestly. It's not. Ah, oh, okay. We need another capture point. Alrighty. But yeah, as you can see, again, the medium medium pulse lasers are so so great at finishing stuff off. It, it the 310 meter range is amazing. I love that about the fact. So what you do is you just sand off armor from the enemies' torsos and then go for the weak spots with the with the medium pulse laser. Try to secure the kills. Try to get the components down that are already damaged. And uh, yeah, in in the end. 
in the end, you have a very, very well-balanced build. Of course, our armor, they, they helped us out so much here. It's being able to sustain the fight and uh, also taking some beating for the team. While um, while our teammates were, were down below fighting the assault mechs, I was just standing there, shooting people, getting some return damage, but uh, in the end, it worked out pretty fine. So that's really cool. That, that's what I like about the Kintaros, just the, the overall survivability. That is so, so good. But in general, in general, the Kintaros are not not that loved anymore. I don't know why, actually. Like, yes, the hitboxes and weapon convergence is... The weapon convergence mostly is an issue. But still, but still, Kintaro is uh, is one one of the classics. One of the good old ones. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that I could take the Golden Boy out for a spin here. Let's have a look at the end score. Um, oh, wow, we dealt uh, 715 damage here. We got one killing blow, nine assists, one kill most damage dealt, and six components destroyed. And that's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, a second game of the day. We are playing the Caustic Valley, and uh, we are playing Assault, and I want to I wanna do counter NASCAR. To be honest, I'm not a big, big fan of the, of the running around in circle thing. I'd rather shoot my weapons and not move too much right so mo moving pressing w is is good at some situations but not all the time you know not all the time so please guys don't nascar too hard you can defend echo 4 that's the thing you can just do that that's not a problem um if you decide to do it as a team of course and i really hope we did that here so yeah people are taking cover <laughs> they want to they want to wait for the enemies to engage um, but yeah, what we can do here, what I'm looking forward is pushing into Delta 4 and then flanking them. That's what I like to do here. So really hope my team comes up and we can again set up that firing line here. Uh, wait for them to come. Maybe? Oh, there was a guy. No, no. No, no, don't NASCAR guys. Okay, you're NASCARing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so much for our plans. Okay, 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 okay. I thought we were agreeing on that. Uh, guess not. All right. Uh, it's not really NASCAR here. It's rather uh, setting up a firing line on the on the edge of the caldera, waiting them for them to make a move. But uh, the important thing is, guys, if you if you do something like that, be aware of your flanks like that. Instantly respond to that. If there's something like that going on, you have to instantly respond to that. I'm pretty happy that I dodged down here. That could have been some auto cannon fire to my face. Okay, that's a vindicator. Um, how do we do that? Oh, that's auto cannon fire on the left. I do not want to get in his way. Absolutely not. Acquired. You know, we we rather do this here. Just peek with our missiles and our medium pulse lasers. Is that? Wait, where is he shooting from? From here. So I can technically do that. Can I? New target. Let's take the UAV Acquired. down. UAVs. It's multiples. That should have killed. Okay, there we go. And now it's time to actually do some push here. Okay, guys, let's put up put up some aggression on the Echo 5 area. New target. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Lurm boats in the Delta 6. I want to get there, actually. I want to harass the Lurm boats. Is there anybody with me? No? Okay. No, never mind, it's okay. If you don't like that, if you don't like to harass the missile boats, then that's perfectly fine for me. We don't have to do it. We can also do something else here. Uh, yeah, but th that's what we get if we don't do it, right? They are uncontested and they have so many lerms. Guys, I want to get to the lerm boats. It's so important here. Okay. You know what? I don't necessarily need to kill them. Just make them make them being being afraid and, and, and harass them and keep them busy. So, guys, I'm pushing through to the lerm boats. Do something, please. Um... Yeah. New Thing is... Oh, that's not a learn boat. That's a laser boat. Oh, that's bad. I tried to flank here, but it didn't work out. Um, this is, however, a Centurion with LRM-10s. Hi. What are you doing here? Wait, this is not a good matchup for you. Oh, actually it is because I'm derping out on my on my aim here. It has to be an XL engine. Yeah. Uh, four and three, we're coming actually back from that. So let's keep the damage going. Cool shot. Um, getting blocked, not so good, but... Uh, dude! Okay. Kill the Tim Bubbles, please. Mad Dog, sorry. Mad Dog. Good job. Uh, now the Tim Bubbles Delta. Or... Oh, Echo, Echo, Echo. Mad Cat Mark II. Kill him, please. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Echo, Mark II. Now the Stormcrow. 
Ah, people running in front of me and I am hot. That is not good. That is very, very bad. Alright, high ground. High ground is good ground. We're gonna go for the Annihilator here. Gonna push around here. Try to hit his side torso. Try to hit his back. Sorry, I'm pushing in front of you. That was not my intention. But that Annihilator kill was very, very much worth it. Okay, the linebacker and, and the other guys are fine. I want to help out my light mag. I'm coming to Echo 4 and help you out, uh, and hell. Um, two mechs here. Echo 4. It's a Vindicator and a Timberwolf. How's the Vindicator doing? Oh, what? He hit my center. Uh, the thing is he's running ERPPC, so... Yeah. I shouldn't have contested that alone. I should have waited. Yeah, there's Anhel down. New okay. Quick burst of damage. I think I cannot survive this. The Vindicator's probably gonna gonna hunt me down. Uh, it's a Vindicator and a damaged Timberwolf. The Vindicator is pretty much red everywhere, but still armor intact. Um, but yeah, I think we got it. I think we got it. So the Timberwolf is gonna push left side. I'm gonna go to the right here. Base is being did he get it? Not quite. Ah, now he got it. <laughs> That's fine. The good thing is that he's gonna be hot when my team is coming in. Yeah, he cannot defend himself anymore. Cool. Last uh, enemy is the, the Vindicator here. That's good. He's on your right. It's funny how he looks like. It's a lot of red red armor here. But he actually was was fine. So not a single single internal structure touch there. Nice one. That was a nice comeback. We were behind by... Three? Maybe four? I saw an, a 0-3 score and then we finally made a move and that made us made us come back here. Cool. Uh, we got two killing blows. We got 10 assists. We have 704 damage with uh, three components destroyed. That was your Kintaro with an MRM-40 and uh, medium pulse lasers. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to get a deeper connection and uh, support me a little bit, then go to the Patreon page. The link is down below in the description. You can get some nice rewards like postcards, for example. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.